In my previous video, I've made this tower rack. In this part, I will make a wooden pulleys and attach them to the house. Firstly, I've made this prototype from plywood, but I didn't like it because it was too bulky. Then, I made the second prototype, which I liked much more. And this design I'm just making from oak. I've used a paper template to copy the shape on the wood five times. I'm cutting the round shape on the band saw and then removing the saw marks with the belt sander. At this stage I'm still not sure if this design is the final design, that's why I will always use screws and not glue. Here I'm cutting the base of the pulley that will be attached to the ceiling of our terrace. The wheel will be turning on a steel rod and here you can notice that I'm not drilling completely through in order to prevent the steel rod from moving side to side. And this is the first dry out assembly with washer at the wheel on each side. And this is what it will look like on our terrace. The other pulley will be actually a double pulley, which means I will have two wheels on it. And when I was almost done, I was experimenting with the wheels and found out that this kind of wheel will not work for me. It was too easy to lose the track. My second design of the wheel is a sandwich. Two big circles plus one small circle glued together. And here it's much more difficult to lose the track with the rope. So back to the manufacturing process. I need six big circles to be cut and three small circles. I'm still missing in my workshop a proper sanding station and without any jig it was impossible to make a nice circle. However, I was in a hurry to finish the project so this is how I glued together three wheels. And I have tested the double pulley. Looks fine. And because of insulation layer, I had to drill quite deep and also to hammer in the wall plugs completely through the insulation. And this is the first test drive. It works fine. The last thing to make is the thing which will hold the rope in the wanted position. This will be two big pegs attached to the base by round tenons. The pegs will be attached to the base in an angle that is visible already in this setup. Then I use the bend saw to get the rough shape. The target is that it's rounded from all sides. The base is quite thick material and to have the lighter appearance I am doing those four cuts in an angle. Next I will drill two round mortises and then I can glue it up.
two holes for the screws that will go to the wall. And before the varnish gets dry, I'm cutting the lawn. And last drilling. Here I had a problem that I did not manage the other wall plug to hammer in completely. So I simply cut off the smashed end of the wall plug. I am happy with the final appearance, but a bit disappointed with extra friction which I have in the wheels. I made a little calculation here to find out the friction level. I put on scales first just myself, then myself with the rack in my hands, and finally I looked at the scales when pulling the rope downwards, lifting the rack. And the conclusion was that I am losing more than 40 newtons in the friction. For improvement, maybe different rope, really round wheels and grease.